Okay, I've been kind of procrastinating lately, and I usually work the entire year, 365 days, to get prepared for Comic Con. It is now the last day of August, almost June. That's like a month, a month and a half. That's not cool. It's bad. Bad. I have a whole Harley Quinn costume put together, got everything to redo, so let's get started. This is the reference I've been using. I'm doing the Harley from the Batman the Animated Series. Okay, so this is my old one. I've worn this for four years, three years, four years, something around there. I've learned a lot, so hopefully gonna make a really improved version of this bodysuit. So first off, what I used was actually pre-made bodysuits. I got them from Milano.com. A black one that's got this shiny material and a red one, which is kind of more shiny. I think they were like 20 bucks each. I don't want to say it's necessarily easier starting with an already made bodysuit. I like everything to match and like making your own gloves is super super hard and if you had to go find a glove and match it to some fabric, odds are it's not really going to look the same. So this has everything put together, same fabric, I make the shoes out of this, I make the hood out of the extra pieces. It's just nice that it all matches, but if you do buy bodysuits, remember that you're going to be cutting them up and sewing them together and it's going to shrink. So if you put this on and it fits, it's too small. These are too big for me. I slipped it on. It is super baggy, like on my arms. Baggy. It fits me lengthwise. The split is, her waist is right here, boobs are here, is right in the middle of the waist and the boobs. So right about here. Now remember, it's gonna be hard because you're taking something that, this actually fits me pretty nicely in my torso. You're going to be cutting it up and having to sew it together. You're going to lose some of this space. So keep that in mind whenever you're cutting up your bodysuit. I won't lie, this is like the scariest part because if you mess it up, you have to buy a whole other bodysuit. First off, I'm going to cut the main seam where I marked it this way. There we go! Oh my god, I'm cutting it! And please, 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 please cut straight. This has to be horizontal and vertical from each other. If it's crooked, it's gonna look really, really bad. Okay. Now cut the black one the same as the red one. Last year, I made my hood separate. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the entire headpiece. And these come with two zippers on it. I kept this zipper for my hood zipper. So make sure you leave one of the heads up here. Now go ahead, take your top pieces, and I'm just gonna cut off the zipper entirely. Now we gotta cut the front. Now we do the same thing for the black. For the legs, I suggest turning them inside out and cutting off this little piece of zipper first. Match your seams. And this time we're gonna be cutting through the front and the back all at once. And since the opposite glove is pretty much useless, I cut mine off close to the glove as I can. Red shoulder goes with black glove. So this is the glove you're actually going to be using. So slip it on, pin where you're going to need to cut right at your wrist bone with a little bit of seam allowance room. Make sure you put each side on because obviously my red glove is actually a lot smaller and fits my hand versus the black glove. You never know when you get stuff off the line. So that's the basis of my bodysuit. Right now we're just sewing the main pieces together and then we're going to alter it later and get it to fit right. Okay, so first important thing is about sewing this spandex material. Um, you need size 11 needles. They work the best. And then for my top thread, I'm using this clear, it's actually almost like fishing line. I know, it's clear so you can't see it when you're gonna top stitch the diamonds. And for the bottom, I just use standard polyester black thread. I did lots of tests on the extra and found out that this combination works best. And I'm gonna be using a zigzag stitch for the whole thing, that way it can stretch both ways. So this is what I came out with on my practice thread. It still stretches. That's what you want. So we have a three zigzag stitch. I am on three. And see the the width of the zigzag is right between three and four. 
and the width of the stitch as I sew is right before two. The one thing I've learned with stretchy fabric is as you're sewing it, just hold it a little taut. Don't stretch it or anything, just make sure this is really loose, just make sure it's taut. Sometimes the fabric will start to fold like that. Um, what I mainly do is I put my needle in my fabric to keep it straight. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I slowly lift up my foot just a little bit, let the wrinkle relax. Pull it straight again and ha, oh, it's all gone. Continue sewing. So this is what it looks like sewed together. Sewing my zipper. Okay, so it stops right here. That's about where the top of my bra strap is. And it goes all the way up here. You can really have a zipper as long as you want. I feel that it's most comfortable right here. And it fits the shape of my back. If it goes any lower, it doesn't bend right. So it's still crooked. You can see the top isn't even. Um, these are a little off. But they match up here, and they match up here. That's important. So I put it on inside out, and what I'm going to be doing is just pinning it to fit myself. I am going to use a whole bag of safety pins, mostly because when I pin it, and I'm going to be moving around and pinning other places, if I use straight sewing pins, it's going to poke me everywhere. And I don't want that. So once you're satisfied with all the alterations, go ahead and sew it. Okay, so once you have the bodysuit fitted, we need to trace the diamonds on. So these are my finished diamond pieces. For the thigh, I have three red and three black. This was the pattern. It's about two and a half by four and a half. That's about the size range for the thigh. Next, we have the calves, and she has two reds and two blacks. And the measurement for the calf is about two and a quarter and four. So roughly just a little bit smaller than the thigh. Lastly, we have the arm pieces. We have two blacks and two reds. And the arm size is two by three and a half. That is the size difference between all three diamonds. So now I'm gonna do the three on the right hip. And the picture shows it a variety of ways. It's like on the side, or when she turns around, it's near the front. I'm gonna put it on the front so you can actually see it. Topmost one is pretty high, right next to my hip bone. This is where you just kind of play around with it. The next one is Further in, three diamonds on the thigh. I'm tracing the diamonds on the arms right here and on the back was a little more difficult. I had to have Kevin help me. So now we're gonna cut out the diamonds. This fabric doesn't unravel. You see how when you cut it, it stays really nice. So I don't need to cut any excess. I'm gonna be tracing the diamond exactly with a little bit of white chalk. So here we are, three very cleanly cut diamonds. So once you have the diamonds all fitted out, we can sew them to the bodysuit. So I'm starting off doing the thigh diamonds. I pretty much just took my pattern and placed it over my chalk. My stitch is the same, I'm doing the zigzag. Everything the same, I'm just gonna start in whatever convenient corner seems best. You can see as I sew, I'm trying to get the zigzag to go over the black and the red, it's the both the same time. Let's do this with one hand. See how it goes on both sides? That way it'll really secure the diamond. This is what the first diamond looks like sewed on. It's pretty flush. So you can see where it got that wrinkle right there. That was bad. So even though it looks stretched wrong when it's laying flat and you're sewing it, when you put it on, it's going to be fine. If you trace this, you know this shape is perfect put on. Off, it's going to look a little wrong. Because the arms were so small, I actually had to cut them open to sew on the diamonds. So that was an unforeseen problem, but it's not that hard to fix. It's just a little more work to do afterwards. Okay, so I finished sewing on all the diamonds. I have two up here, down here, thigh, and the back right here. And I think they all fit very well and they look well placed. Because you can see almost all of them facing forward. Even the cap ones, can you kind of see like that? This is the only one that's in the complete back. So after you're done sewing on the diamonds, all we have to do is add the gloves and the bodysuit is completely finished. Okay, so this is dumb, but it might happen to you. The gloves are completely different sizes. It fits really well, I'm gonna be able to sew it right on. But look at this black one. Oh my God, look how much extra black. My finger starts right there. 
So we're gonna have to be altering the glove. Pretty much, I put it on inside out, and I laid it flat on the table. Can you see where I marked it with chalk? Not really, but I pretty much drew around my fingertips exactly the size I need. So I'm pretty much gonna use a straight stitch. This edge is too big, sew that together. In the tips of the fingers, cut them off to make them fit my hand. So here's a little trick for sewing on the glove straight. Um, put on the arm and note how the seam is right at the wrist. Then you want to take it off inside out. Put the glove on and then you're going to put your arm in the sleeve the wrong way. So I'm going to slip my hand in through the wrist hole. Making sure that the seam stays at my wrist. Okay. Line up the top, make sure they're about even. You need to pin it there or whatever, but this is how you're going to sew the sleeve. It's all one piece. I'm going to do the hood, the collar, the cuffs, and the shoes in separate tutorials. So that completes the bodysuit tutorial. 